um, the breaking news. This envelope just came in from Ghana. This just came in from Ghana. Every single Supreme Court judge, this is their docket. Yes. Um, I hope in Ghana, we know that, we know what the Supreme Court judges, how much their salary is. The Ubiaji, Anamibwa, yes. You didn't say when you become a Supreme Court judge, Nyamibu Henisa, right? Yes. You didn't say investment, Yes. You didn't say amount of money, how much you're supposed to spend? Yes. We say every single Supreme, single Supreme Court judge in Ghana today. But You see, Mama Papa and Yashi are born as soon as the case starts. Case is starting in court. And, and we know now that um, the NDC, they have officially uh, petitioned the Supreme Court. We will be revealing things. They say, let's do the right thing and then we we'll all sleep peacefully. Let us do the right thing. Then every single individual can sleep peacefully. This just came in this morning. Um, let me drop it here. Um, it's um, all the hidden files of our Supreme Court judges in Ghana. The hidden files. What they do and we don't know. Um, this envelope just came in this morning. So we will be doing everything um, as, as the case starts. Because Obianya the right thing. But today the breaking news is big. It's huge. Um, some people are doing everything possible to undermine our democracy. Some people in our judicial system are doing everything possible to undermine our democracy and we are not going to do that my camera say papa i was expecting some people to act in a way that they can protect our democracy but it's looking more like they have become more political than the office they occupy so we also go that um, um route and make sure that we all wash our dirty linen in public that's what i'm saying all the judges the supreme court judges your docket is here it came this morning fedex brought it from ghana it's here we will be as time goes on. We'll be releasing everybody. Set Obia so Obia and the Moneda. Obia and Yeshi. Obia and Fanisan Kobia. We will let this sit here, but I'll be moving on. The breaking news is here. Um, now something is happening that we need to understand. If you're Ghanaian, you're a young man, a young woman who believe or who voted for John Dramani Mahama, the six million Ghanaians and, and over, you have to understand that this is not a fight for just one person. We all have to come together and fight. The police are doing everything possible. The, the damn IGP and his drunk. His drunk um, CID boss, that is what they are doing now to suppress the people. Today, you cannot demonstrate in Ghana if you are with the NDC. But I would like to tell you people that come together. The time to demonstrate is now. Especially in the Volta region, this is the time to demonstrate. Don't be scared. Because some people are doing everything possible to take your, your rights from you. This is the time to demonstrate. I keep telling you where we are in our thousands. On the street, nobody, nobody can stop stop us from demonstrating. Where we, when we are in our thousands, nobody can stop us from demonstrating. This is the time. From today, is war. From today, is the time to fight to reclaim our democracy back from Nanado Danque Kufuado and this crop of criminals in government today, especially Gabi Asorichirdaako. Yes, we need to come out and fight. If we don't, if we don't speak out, if we don't demonstrate peacefully, these people will use the same judiciary. They will use the same judiciary to take the democracy away from us. The judiciary started destroying the democracy the day they said that we cannot use birth certificate as a source of identification in our country. That was the day Enin Yabua, the CJ, decided to destroy our democracy. He is on a mission to destroy it totally. And it's about time we, the people, stood up together as one people to fight this um, 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 evil um, a mentality. Now, the breaking news. Let's do this, and then after that, we do the breaking news. As leader of the NDC, I wish to serve notice that we shall do all our part to ensure that our country remains peaceful and that the electoral process proceeds smoothly. But, and a big but, let nobody assume that we will accept the results of a flawed election. Um, this is breaking news on with all due respect this is breaking news on with all due respect if you're in the volta region if you are around akufu lolobi and those areas if you come from the volta region hold specifically make sure that you call a brother to call a brother that this is the time to fight for this nation if you're in the ashanti region the eastern region the volta the northern region every part of ghana the 16 regions you have to make sure you are ready to put everything everything on the line to save the democracy of this nation because the judiciary some people in government today are trying to take away our democracy now let's go straight on friday on friday the chief justice 
um, CJ, the Chief Justice met um, the judge who actually uh, placed an injunction on Amewu's case. Um, his name is Michael Bwedi, a very solid judge, a very, very solid judge. Some people don't know about this man. Remember, this is the same judge who, you see, we have taken the back seat. We were doing our jobs. We were taking our time. We were investigating. We were taking, and let me, let me clear the air on this. The documents that came in today from Ghana FedEx, from my contacts and from my investigation team, it comes with pictures. It comes with audios. Yes, we will be playing everything because it's looking more like the, 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 the Supreme Court has become some kids play now. So we will play everything, every single judge in the Supreme Court. We will play it when the case starts. Yes, Papa Nyefi, Abone Nyefi, we brought people up there to save, protect the democracy of this nation. Now watch this. On Friday, the Chief Justice, Enin Yabwa, the Chief Justice called that judge who actually put an injunction on Amewu's um, 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 results. In fact, Amewu's uh, parliamentary uh, um, uh, results. Now, this is what happened. He called this man, Michael Bwedi, who is a solid judge. And remember, Sir Judge Weyan Kassan and Eti Gregory Afoko case in this Ah, or granted Gregory Afoko bail. Remember that, that issue. Gregory Afoko is still in jail now. This was the same judge who granted Gregory Afoko jail. And now, uh, at the end of the day, the chief justice, this same chief justice decided to transfer him. Remember, this same Supreme Court, they transferred this guy because Nanado Dankwe Kufuwa did not like the idea. He didn't like this judge. So they took him to Ho. That was when they transferred this same judge to Ho. They never knew that the same judge would be at Ho for issues to happen. And let's be very honest here. This man is not working for anybody or he's, he's, been, he's peeved because somebody did anything. No, he's doing his job. And we all know it is about the, the protecting um, the democracy of this nation and also protecting uh, the, the rights of Ghanaians. Every Ghanaian has the right to vote. When they are eligible to vote, they have the right to vote. So this was the same judge they transferred to who? They never knew that in two, three years' time, there will be a case in front of the judge. And this judge is not a no-nonsense judge. Michael Boedi, you cannot push. He's not a, he's not a push-over judge. On Pobia position to supreme court on your already said he's coming to lick anybody's butt if it is ndc if it is npp whoever comes in front of him he makes sure the law works so at the end of the day this is the same judge chief justice called him on friday to come to accra try to pressurize this man to rescind or reverse the decision and he said no he's going by the law and this is a human rights issue let me repeat this again the chief justice called this judge to accra try to pressurize this man to change his decision on Amewu's case to make sure he reverses his decision on putting an injunction on it. The man said, no, he's going by the law. He's a judge who has sworn to Ghanaians and also to God to serve his country and that the right thing has to be done. So Michael Bwedi, and I respect him for that, he did not. He did not do that. Now the Chief Justice has another plan. Another Dan Kwekufuado and the Chief Justice, they have planned another thing. And today, you'll be shocked what I will tell you today. Now, after this whole thing, the Chief Justice, in his own way, trying to protect this president, making sure Ekufuado is installed on us as an illegitimate president in every means. You have, you have to remember that we have said over and over that nobody can trust the Chief Justice because he's a political Chief Justice. He has shown over and over. We can talk about cases involving Kennedy Japan. We can talk about cases that he himself tried to suppress the people's will. And then they are there for everybody to see. I'm not making things up. Now, this is what is happening. The Attorney General, Godfrey Dame, Godfrey Dame, everybody knows the Godfrey Dame. This guy has been the guy this president has been using to suppress um, a lot of things in Ghana. They have been using Godfrey Dame, the Attorney General, to do a lot of things in Ghana that you'll be shocked to know. Remember, this is the same Godfrey Dame guy who, at the end of the day, um, during the um, uh, COVID-19 era, uh, there was a case against um, National Identification Authority. Remember, this was the same guy who manipulated the system, manipulated the judiciary to make sure that they got their way out. Remember, Godfrey Dame is the same person. Uh, uh, Kenny Japan issued by, you know, he made sure said the chief justice gave him that case and then he made the case one line. He's the same Godfrey Dame. That is his job. Ask yourself, when was the last time you heard about the main attorney general? Because the main attorney general is not a pushover on your politician. He is or she is not doing things to please this president. The main attorney general is there working for the people. But because Ekufuadu knows he can use Godfrey Dami, that is why every time you see Godfrey Dami doing this dirty job. Remember, PPA, scandal, you know, 
Godfrey Dami is on the board of PPA. He is the guy manipulating. Sikana Mudino PPA and Godfrey Dami account. So he has he's been one person. Now. They have been he's been they are using him as a baby serpent to destroy our democracy. And it is dangerous. Today something new has come up. And the same pe- people we know, Godfrey Dami and then the Chief Justice. I'm going to tell you the, the, the breaking news and I'm going to push it with facts. So that you not sit there in Ghana and say, Kevin is uh, inciting people because the people should be ready. Stand back. Be ready. Because it is looking more like the judiciary want to take your rights from you. Want to take our democracy from us. And we the people should stand back. Be ready to fight for that. You need to because at around this time, it's not a time to joke. The chief justice cannot be trusted. And that's what I can say for now. From what I am going to show you today, he cannot be trusted. Now, this is what um, the, the, the chief justice instructing the attorney general to do you'll be shocked now um godfrey dummy now they are trying to tell i'm talking about the attorney general they are trying to tell the supreme court and this is what they are saying the attorney general is trying to tell the spirit to, uh, to quash listen the attorney general godfrey dummy which is led by godfrey dummy they are trying to tell the Supreme Court to do something for them. What are they trying to tell the Supreme Court? They are trying to tell the Supreme Court that that ruling now, Michael Bwedi, a ruling will hold, Chika Tamuko Hono, the Supreme Court should nullify it. Now ask yourself, how can the Attorney General be the one trying to tell the Supreme Court to do this? We are talking about the Republic of Ghana. We're talking about our elections. We're talking about an election involving an MP and other MPs in different parties. And but the Attorney General in this at this at this point has come out, has gone to court to file a case to tell the Supreme Court, the Chief Justice, to nullify that ruling. Now, Michael Boedina, Chief Justice, friend, Friday now, or see, he will not reverse his decision. As we speak now, let me show you this. This is quite bled, but the attorney general has filed a case. And this, he was instructed by chief justice to do that. Now, the attorney general is in court telling the chief justice, telling the Supreme Court that they should do everything possible to reverse Peter Ambewu's case. Now, the judge needed the injunction at all because some Ghanaians they were not allowed to vote. Let's get this right. I want to break it down base so that it becomes basic. Some Ghanaians in the Lolobi Akpefu area in the whole around the whole area were denied their right to vote. And a judge between a case is not Chika Tamli case in the court court. Say this is a human rights issue. And a judge in his own wisdom said, Yeah, this is right. These are Ghanaians, they also need to vote. So that particular parliamentary seat, you know, or the hall tatoso, we need to make sure everything is cleared. Now the chief justice calls this judge to Accra. And this judge says, no, I'm working with the law. Michael Boedi, a solid judge, says, no, he's not, going to, he's not going to reverse anything. Today, 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 the attorney general has been directed by the chief justice to file something to the Supreme Court. The, the chief justice has been directed, has directed the attorney general to file a case. Now, this is what they have done. The attorney general is not trying to tell the chief justice, the Supreme Court, they should reverse Michael Boedi's um, injunction in who. Now there's a trick here. I will after the show. I am going to publish all the documents for you to to read for yourself. There's no time for these things, but I want you to understand. I have the docket and I have what they have filed. Now the strategy is the Supreme Court too is on break. They're going to get back. They're going to be back at work on the 11th of January. Meaning, say this is the strategy as it stands. There is no way Amehu can be sworn in as a member of parliament, meaning automatically the NDC will have majority in parliament and that they will have to choose the speaker of parliament. Now, the chief justice, the Supreme Court, they have directed the attorney general to file a case and then what they will have to do is immediately they are going to assemble. The chief justice is going to assemble a panel of five. And then when he assembles a panel of five, what they are going to do is they are going to reverse Michael Boedi's decision in who? Before the 7th of January. Now, when they do that, this is what's going to happen. Amehu will be able to make it to parliament. They have to swear him in on the 6th. So this is the strategy. The chief justice helping the attorney general, Odami, who is obviously a, a, a crook who has been doing this for a long time, that this is what they have to do. 
So as we speak now, the Attorney General, who is not supposed to be in any case, is not to be supposed to be around this case in any way, is now forcing the Chief Justice, not forcing, collaborating with the Supreme Court and the Chief Justice specifically to make sure that they overturn Michael Buedi's decision uh, in Ho to make sure that Amehu on the seat is sworn in so that NDC will not have the majority. If you are sitting home and you think this is a joke, this is not a joke. They are breaking the neck of democracy now. They are destroying our democracy. And as we speak, they have filed. And then let me tell you for a fact, it is going to happen. The Chief Justice is going to immediately assemble some five Supreme Court judges. In fact, it's going to be he's going to be part of it all for some reasons. He's going to step out and appoint five people. Ekufuado appointed five Supreme Court judges to make sure they overturn this judge's decision in Ho. So as we speak now, the institution that is destroying our democracy now is the Supreme Court, led by the Chief Justice. And it is dangerous because Everybody knows that the people in the vault in the in hope they have to vote, and that decision by Michael Buedi is cannot be contested in any way. It should stand. Why should the chief justice and even why should the attorney general, who is the, the lawyer of the government, be telling filing a case, filing something to the Supreme Court for the Supreme Court to immediately convene? Remember, this was the same Supreme Court that at the end of the day. A whole chief justice made sure that a judge like Winter sitting on Kennedy Japan's case was kicked out. This is the same chief justice. So I don't trust him. I don't trust him to make the right decision. This is the same chief justice where a member of parliament, Kennedy Japan, insulted the chief justice at the Supreme Court. At the end of the day, the judge sitting on the case, Enini Yabua told the judge to vacate, leave the case. As we speak, Kennedy is walking. This is the same attorney general, Godfrey Dame. This is the same guy they use in the NIA case. Remember, in the COVID-19 times, NIA, when they were taken to court, this is the same attorney general, Godfrey Dame. This is the same attorney general, Kennedy Japan. This is the same Godfrey Dame. We're talking about Bernard Mourner's case. This was the same Godfrey Dame. We are talking about this uh, banana of Power FM. It was the same Godfrey Dame. So you have to understand that this Godfrey Dame guy, ask yourself, why hasn't the main attorney general ever showed up or come out to make a statement involving these political cases which does not even make any sense. It is always Godfrey Dami because Godfrey Dami has been put there by the president to do these dirty jobs. And if you are listening to me today, as we speak, it is the Supreme Court of Ghana that is destroying our democracy. And as we speak, these documents have been filed and then the person directing the Attorney General what to do to make things easy is the Chief Justice. Yes, is the chief justice as we speak how can the attorney general of the government attorney general being the lawyer of the government file a case to the supreme court to make sure that they reconvene quickly and make sure they crush that judgment by michael Buedi in Ho to make sure that Amehu is sworn in on the seat because if any nyabwa does not do this now and the mdc will have majority in parliament and this is the most dangerous thing that's why i'm saying that papa nyashi abode nyashi who say and in Yabua, the chief justice and other judges there, they are not ready to be fair. So we will also wash all our, our dirty linens in public. I am going to play profiles of what judges are doing in Ghana. Videos, photos, documents. I'm going to do it as time goes on because at this point, everything is on the table. At this point, every single thing is on the table. Nobody is going to, to look on for people to destroy our democracy again. Ghana is not about Ekufuado. If Ekufuado lost the elections, he has to step down. It's a fact. Nobody is forcing anybody to say anything. All that we want is justice. And if we are going to use the judiciary to destroy this nation, then we are all no we are all going to die at the same time because some people are not better than others. And these are facts. So what I'm trying to tell you right now is simple. In Ho, Michael Boedi made a decision. Some people were disenfranchised. He says that that seat, Amehu, the seat Amehu contested, or say, Yem Fahod in Tuso, Near making sure say the right things are done. Now, because this government, Ekufuad Nimse, if Amewood is not sworn in on the sixth or seventh uh, in parliament, you know, they will have a minority and the NDC will automatically have majority and pick the speaker of parliament. The attorney general is being directed, Koliko, by the chief justice to file a case. As we speak, it has been filed. Now, what is going to happen is the Supreme Court is going to take that case. And you have to understand, the Supreme Court is on recession. They'll be back on the 11th. But the most dangerous thing they're going to do now is they're going to reconvene. They're going to make this case an emergency case, reconvene about five judges, the chief justice, and make sure they overturn Michael Buedi's decision in Ho. As we speak on Friday, 
Michael Bwedi was sent, was called to come to Accra, pressurized, and he did not bow because he is not working for any political party. He's working by, with the law. So let us be straightforward here. Where we are now, it is not you, it is not me. It is the Supreme Court that will destroy our democracy. And until we all come out, start to speak, start to demonstrate, especially people in hope, start to make sure the right thing is done. Nobody should be disenfranchised. We need to speak up. We need to come out. Don't let anybody intimidate you. We are more than the army. We are more than the police. All that we want is the right thing to be done. That's it. And we should not let this pass. If you make this pass, that's it. Nana Adodankwe Kufuado from day one has been manipulating the system. Has been making sure that we the people, we have become slaves in our own nation. We should not allow that. I'm going to publish all these documents. And it is being led by Odame, who is being directed by the Chief Justice. How can it be this way? Today, the NDC, they have filed their case. How can anybody on earth believe the Supreme Court and this Chief Justice? Nobody. Nobody on earth will believe this Supreme Court and Chief Justice. But this docket I have here, it will show families. Because we need to know our Chief Justice, our Supreme Court judges. We need to know them. They are Ghanaians. We need to know them. We need to know where they live, their investment, their business, what they were into, what they are still into. These are things we have to put out there because they are Supreme Court justices and we believe that they are clean. So if we put it out there as time goes on, when the case starts, then we all get to a point. Because it's getting to the point some people want to destroy us and we are not going to allow that. We don't come here and say things and walk away. We come here with facts. And after this, I'm going to publish this. Start making your calls. Start asking if this is a lie. This is the truth. And this is what Chief Justice is doing right now. He has been doing this for too long and it is too much. And we cannot allow him to keep on doing this. The same Chief Justice protected Kennedy Japan, kicked out a, a very reputable judge sitting on the case. This same Chief Justice is now manipulating the system to make sure that the Attorney General, who is the lawyer of the president, the Attorney General, who is the lawyer of the president, files a case to the Supreme Court and makes sure that he gathers politically appointed Supreme Court judges to overturn a decision that we all know is right. Where are we? And now the main opposition party, the NDC, are in court today. They filed their, their, their case. Do you think anybody is going to get free ju judgment in this, this court? No. But we the people can make that decision. We the people can make that decision because we voted. And we know who we voted for. We should not make some people sit on some bench and destroy the democracy that we have built all these years. That is why from today, when the case starts, I will also not forgive anybody. Nobody should forgive me. Let us all try and let the world know who we are, who we truly are. If we are in to serve our nation or in to serve some people. It is getting out of hand and this is the time we have to start speaking. This is the breaking news. I'm going to publish everything on loudsilenceradio.com. Start asking questions. Go to the court. Say, is this true? Has Godfrey Dame, uh, Godfrey Dame filed this? Has, is he trying to tell the Supreme Court to change this, to overturn this, to get Amewu to, 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 to Parliament? Amewu does not deserve to be in Parliament. The, the laws are there, clear. People have been disenfranchised. Why is this happening? If this had happened in Eastern Region, do you think the president would be quiet? Some Ghanaians were refused their right. Some Ghanaians were not allowed to vote. But the president is quiet. He's not speaking on it. If you think this had happened in the Ashanti region, would the president be quiet? If it had happened in the Eastern region, will he be quiet because he's a stronghold? No, because it happened in the Volta region. In hope, because he thinks that they are, are, they are animals as usual. And I keep telling my brothers from the Volta region that if you support the MPP, you went to vote, you wanted, you went to vote for them, you are foolish because the president does not even see you people as humans. The president does not see people in the Volta region, especially who as humans. So whom some of you Has he spoken on this matter? Has he? But today he's still manipulating the system to make sure that Amewu, who is illegit illeg illegitimate right now, is sworn in. It should not happen. This must not happen. The people who have refused their right to vote, they deserve the right thing. They deserve to vote. The right thing must be done. We should not allow this chief justice to destroy us. We need to get on the street. We need to demonstrate. We need to let our voices be heard. The demonstration can be ugly because that is what this government is calling for. The demonstration can be ugly because since the NDC or people in Ghana, the 6 million people who voted for Mahama decided to vote, um, demonstrate peacefully, I have never seen or heard anyone hurt anybody. But it looks more like the police are now making these people their target so the demonstration can get ugly. 
and when it gets ugly remember <laughs> it's, it's going to get ugly to the point where we, we cannot differentiate a policeman from a civilian yes it is going to get uglier and some people keep saying why the demonstration why are you burning ties who demonstrates in your room ask yourself you are you are not pleased about something you are angry about something somebody's cheating you why do you sit in your room and demonstrate that is not demonstration you only demonstrate demonstration means going out to let people know peacefully how you feel and that is what people are doing on the street so if the igp this dumb igp and this dumb cid boss can only arrest the opposition people who are demonstrating on the street then is the these these same people are they are enemies to the people i'm talking about the police have now become enemies to the civilians and we should not let this slide so it's about time the revel the revel the revel the revolution should start now we, the peace talk is nonsense without justice this is what the chief justice is doing now this is what the supreme court is going to do now and trust me he's going to do it we are the only people that can stop him trust me this man is going to do it he's going to make sure he nullifies he nullifies that judgment that michael Buedi actually um, um i made in whole to make sure i makes it to parliament because he wants to do everything possible to give mpp the majority in parliament we voted a single man and his group of men cannot do that to us cannot so i'm telling every young Ghanaian, the six million people who voted for the ndc people who think about democracy this is the time we've been talking about the revo the revo to protect this nation to maintain our democracy this is the time the beginning is now and it is our supreme court that is destroying our democracy not anybody else it started we saw it now it is looking more like they are ready so we should also be ready things don't look good this is just the breaking news you know i'm supposed to start work on the first of january i don't know whether i'm going to be back again on air but the probability is very very high I came to give you this breaking news. I'll be back to uh, explain more things to you. But after the show, you can go on loudsilenceradio.com. You have access to all the documents there um, to know that all that I'm talking about are facts. If anybody thinks or sees that all that I'm saying here is a lie, they should come back and tell the world that Kevin Taylor lied to the whole world. Thank you very much for being part of this breaking news. Start making the calls. Start telling friends. People in the Volta region also deserve um, the right to vote. Amu, as we speak now, cannot be sworn in. Cannot be sworn in as the member of parliament in Ghana. 